Hello. Yes, the state is playing a dangerous game. But first, what the state has managed to do is bring the BMP down. It destroyed the BMP, rendered it useless, and its spies are now in control. They took it, or should I say, Nick Griffin handed it over to them. Literally handed it over to them. Anyway, don't get me started on that. That's another video in itself. And they're now in the process of destroying UKIP. But in its place, what they've left is the pantomime and circus, the sideshow, the distraction, in the form of EDL, Tommy Robinson Roadshow, Football Lads Alliance, and now the split to the Democratic Football Lads Alliance. Have you noticed how they build these outfits up and then split them? They create them, but they don't want to get them too big. They don't want to allow them to get right up there, which the EDL was going, and so was the Football Lads Alliance, had 40,000, you know, people on the street. So that's what they do. But anyway... But, but, through what it's done, the state destroyed the BMP, bringing UKIP down and created the sideshow, the pantomime and circus, the distraction. It's also in the process radicalised, not tens of thousands, not hundreds of thousands, probably millions of our people on Facebook, following the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, even the Paul Golden, Britain First Roadshow and whatever, and tens of thousands marching on, on the streets with the Football Lads Alliance. It's managed to radicalise, I believe, probably millions of our people. But they're all sitting on Facebook at the moment. Press, like, share, comment. Well, that's no good. Or marching with the Democratic Football Lads Alliance, getting into punch-ups, which is no good. If we get our act together now, very soon, we have got a movement that's ready, up and running, and I'm going to be out there for the fight. We can take it to this government. We can take it to the Labour Party. We can take it to them all. But it's got to be organised, right? It's got to be controlled. It just can't be a mob on the streets, right? Because that's where the state wants us. Because the state will have an agenda. There's an end game with the Tommy Robinson Roadshow. You must all know that. You must do. And it's the same with the Democratic Football Lads Alliance, Football Lads Alliance or whatever. Britain First, whoever, whatever. There's an end game. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. Tommy Robinson at the moment is provoking the Muslims each time he makes a video. He's having a go with them. He's calling them. And I do believe they want the uh, towns and cities, the ghettos to go up. And then is draconian legislation going to come in then? I don't know. But he is forever, especially with the latest soldier one. That's probably all being set up anyway, hasn't it? Not all the squaddies will be involved, but one or two may be. And all Tommy Robinson would need to know is where they'd be that day. Walk through the service station. Oh, hello, lads, and selfies, and there you go. It's it's all done, right? He'd know, and his controllers would know where these lads would be. Of course they would. But in the videos, if you watch him, he's attacking the Muslim Council of Britain. How dare they do this? And right throughout his videos, he's provoking the Muslims without a doubt. Without a doubt. Whether or not it's ever going to go bang one day, I don't know. Is that their objective? I don't know. We shall see. But what I'm saying, in the meantime... The state is playing a dangerous game because it's radicalised millions of our people. And we've got to hoover them up. We've got to start a new political party, which we can do. It's no good sitting on Facebook, reposting stories. Someone else has reposted and they've reposted them and so on and so on. That's no good, is it? Press like share comment. You all know I'm right. But no one is, is coming out and saying, yeah, Joe, you're right. See, a lot want the pantomime and circus. They want the fun, right? Well, that's no good. Entertainment's not going to win our country back. Nick Griffin, I don't know where your head is. You're hobnobbing with Hope Not Hates by Jack Sen. You're posting nonsense on Facebook or just posting articles everyone else posts or reposting something else, someone else has reposted or whatever, right? It's no good all that. And you know it's not. You're not stupid, you know it, right? But you're not prepared at the moment to start a party because there's no money about it. And I understand. But we get our act together, we can pull that money in again, right? We can. There's people out there, we've got to do it right, and we can. And I'm telling you now, we'll have this government and all the other political parties terrified. I mean, the tens of thousands that have been marching, say, with the Democratic Football Ads Alliance, the Football Ads Alliance, or even the Tommy Robinson Roadshow, if you could only get 1% of them to hit council estates or parliamentary wards when there's an election on, trust me, 
we're going somewhere. Knocking on the door, hello, madam, hello, sir. We're here to represent you. We stand for A, B, C, and D. We can do this again. I know we can. You know we can. But we're not going to do it on Facebook. We're not going to do it saying it's all over now, it's finished. Even though we're 80% plus the majority in the country, we'll have to wait till we're 1%. In 100 years' time, um, Reconquista will take back Britain. You know that's a load of nonsense, Nick. You actually do know it's a load of nonsense, and it's a cop-out. It's saving face, that's all it is. You know what it is. Be a man and just get back in there. Admit you're wrong. Admit what, you know, it was folly. You've handed the BMP over to the enemy, but okay, so what? Let's start again. But the state is indeed playing a dangerous game because it's radicalised and still doing. Millions of our people, we've just got to now organise them. And uh, we're up and running again. Trust me. Oh, my next video will be about Anam Chowdhury. Is he out of prison now? Well, he's another one who works for the secret state. Don't be fooled by his jailing. Like, don't be fooled by any of the jailings, whether not it's uh, Jez Turner or Tommy Robinson. Or It's all part of the scam. It's all part of their cover to protect them. Right, so you jihadis out there, right? Adam Chowdhury's not one of you lots. He's working against you. But I'll, I'm going to do a video on that shortly. Okay, thank you.